boys and girls, how y'all doing? That jump almost took my whole leg out. Okay, are you content to be a sister? Oh, I don't know about that. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, okay. Oh, hey, boys and girls, how y'all doing? Welcome. Oh, we did that at the same time. Jinx, high five. Welcome, boys and girls, for our first time viewers. Hey, y'all are ready, and it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great good time. Day. It's going to be a fantastic it's day. It's going to be an awesome day. And you know, the boys and girls that have been here, welcome back. You know, it's I got to do a dance. Oh. Welcome back. Okay. You know, I got to do a dance. Well, get your shoulders, Miss Caitlin. Get your shoulders, Miss <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, good oh, to see man. you all. If you haven't been here, put it in the chat. Put your favorite animal emoji in the chat today. Animals. 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 You like, animals? You like lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. I like all the animals. <laughs> I don't know what type of animal that was that can go for any animal that goes <laughs> But put your favorite one in the chat. We would love to yes. see it. Okay, so we got to tell these first-time viewers our theme. I know we have three new things this month, guys. We have a theme, oh. a live app, and a memory verse. So if you're not new and you want to put it in the chat, you can do that. And if you are new, we can go ahead and explain it to you. So first of all, our theme. Our Ms. Theme. Esther, what is our theme this month? Our theme is Upcycle. Roll up with what you got. Man, roll with what roll. you got. Oh, Did wait. that look are like a roll? A body roll? That looked like a body roll. Did you, did you get it, Miss Kaylee? I, I don't, I don't do that okay. very well. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. But she's practicing. She's practicing. Yeah. <laughs> and then our life app. Our life app this month is contentment. Boop, 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 Learning boop, 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 to boop. be okay with what you have. Not what she has, not what he has, not what they have, but what you have. What I have. What yeah. You have. And yes, not wanting more. Because remember the bottom line last month? Yes. Last week, I mean, it was Miss Tina had ate those donuts. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking about donuts. I think her donuts. stomach still hurts. So. I bet you it does still hurt, boys and girls. If you think Miss Tina's stomach still hurts from those donuts, put it in the chat and we'll let you know <laughs> later on if it does. But yeah, she was yeah. wanting more and more and it can make yep. you miserable. Yeah, we oh. do not want that. We want yeah. to be content and we want to be happy and thankful for what God provides for us each and every day. Each and every day. So then you know what can help us with that? Our what? memory verse. Oh. Do you guys remember? If you remember, put it in the chat. Start typing. I'm going to give you a little bit of time. And your fingers move fast. That was like a typewriter. I don't think they know about typewriters. But anyway, the memory verse is, then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Wanting to have more and more things. Yeah, we can't, yeah. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15. So, so, like, if I have a big house and a nice car, the nicest car, and then the next year, a bigger car. house is on the block, and a nicer car is on the block. Okay. So, is that why God tells us we have to be content? Because there's always going to be something bigger and something better, something Something newer. flashier, yeah. something more. You know, it just, sometimes... You just gotta be content. Yeah, I think I think that God does that for a reason because the world doesn't really matter. Or like things in the world don't really matter. So there's always gonna be something that you want unless you're content with what you have. Yes, yes, boys and girls. So look, I, you know, I've been saying it since the beginning of the week, a month. I wanted some shoes, but I, I have shoes and yeah, I love she's them. Content now. <laughs> <laughs> so look. Boys and girls, hey, you know what when you know what time it is. I think it's time for praise and worship. Okay, look, boys and girls, I gotta get on my bicycle. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go to praise and worship. Don't fall, See don't ya. Fall, don't fall. That's right. You know, when we fix our eyes on Jesus, we remember a lot of things. Hey. And I want to remind you of one of those things tonight. And that is that Jesus loves you oh, more God. than you could ever imagine. Do you believe that? Yeah. Oh, that Jesus loves you. Yeah. Say Jesus loves me. Jesus, Jesus loves me. Oh, I can't hear you. Jesus loves me. Jesus, Jesus loves me. me. That's true. So let's sing that. Can we sing about that tonight? Yeah. Come on. Say ayo. Ayo. Come on. Say ayo. Ayo. Let your voice say ayo. Ayo. Come on. Say ayo. Ayo. Say Jesus loves me. 
everybody, it is game time. I love game time. You love game time. We're ready for game time. What I need you to do is hold on just a second, pause, go get a cookie. Any kind of cookie, whatever your favorite cookie is. We got Oreos, you can do chocolate chips, snickerdoodles, sugar cookies, peanut butter cookies, nutter butter. I, I know a lot of cookies, guys. Can I eat this cookie? No. If you win, you will eat a cookie. All right, so these two ladies, we've got Miss Tina and Esther up here. They are going to have a cookie on their forehead and somehow, some way, hands free, going to get that cookie down to their mouth. For a snack. Now you can eat I that can cookie, eat the cookie when you win. If, if if you win, if you win. So if you think Miss Esther is gonna win, I need you to drop a leaf in the chat because she just be blowing in the wind. All right. And if you think Miss Tina is gonna win, I need you to drop a pumpkin in the chat because I like this orange shirt. All right. So we got can pumpkins. We got leaves. If you win, you can eat a cookie. So pumpkin versus leaf, are we ready? ready. I'm watching. Ready. On your marks. Y'all got your cookie? Forehead. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Mm, this looks like a lot, of, a lot of chewing, but no food in your mouth. Same place. It's an eye patch cookie. <laughs> Arr, you can do it. Don't eat the oh, cookies off your five-second rule. No five-second rule. Okay, come on. Why y'all drop them at the same time? Miss Tina's trying to do a little wiggle. Ashley's doing a lot of face stretches. Control it, control. Oh, you didn't get to eat the cookie. If you can do it, you're the one, Miss Tina. She is blinking this cookie. Use the those lashes. Use the. Oh, uh, 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 really? Uh, flip it. Really? Flip it. Really? Hey, she wins. Not only does she win, but she gets to eat a cookie. Miss Esther, I think we have some extras in the back. Hey, be content with that. All right, all right. That was good, Miss Tina. Good job, uh, Miss Tina. High five. You she, leave she's me. still, high she's high still. Oh. All right. Come on, chew that cookie because we have something to go do. Oh. Me? Yeah. All right, guys. It's game time. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Do you I, have any more food? No, I don't have any more food. Oh. Um, but we just we just ate. We just ate. But you it know, just wasn't a whole lot, and I'm so hungry. It would, but it's story time. I'm hungry. Okay. I'm hungry. I understand. And I'm a little thirsty. Uh, okay. All I got was water. I didn't even have a lemon in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're sounding a tad I'm bit. I'm hungry. Like. Israelite-ish from the Bible right now. <laughs> I don't just, think I'm that bad. I'm just I, hungry. Okay, I, look, I, look. When are we going to eat? We just ate. We, we just ate, right? Didn't we just eat? But it wasn't a lot. I know, but did and you? And I didn't even want that. They ordered it for I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, but like I'm you. I'm hungry. But you didn't even hungry. have. Hungry. I understand. But you didn't even have to pay for hungry. it. Hungry. You didn't even have to pay for it. Like you didn't even have to come out your pocket. Like. Yeah, they, it, it was probably cheap. I'm still hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. And they brought you nice cold water. No lemon. You, no written. straw. I had to ask for a straw. Okay. Just. I'm hungry. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. But you really are sounding a little Israelite-ish from the Bible right now. I mean, for real. I get those strong vibes. Mm. You remember? You, I know you remember. The Israelites, like, uh, like an exodus? Yes. In the beginning of the Bible. Yes, the, the second book, right, Genesis. I don't think the first I'm that one. bad. They were bad. You want to tell them about that? I, I mean, okay, let's see if there's okay. any similarities. Let's see if you guys think there's any similarities between the Israelites and they're complaining. Probably not. Probably not. And Miss Tanisha. Probably not. You don't think so? Let's see. Well, remember, let's just refresh it, because some people may not know, okay. right? That the Israelites, they were in Egypt, mm -hmm. right? Because they were slaves in Egypt. And Moses was like, hey, let my people go, because God right. was like, go, because my people are crying. Plagues, I need you to go, right? The bugs, all those frogs. plagues, all uh -huh. that stuff, right? God was doing great big things there. And Pharaoh was finally like, yeah, deuces, y'all can go, right? Yeah. So then he left, yeah. or they all left. And then. As they were going, 
then Pharaoh was like, I changed my mind. I want y'all back. Just changed his mind. Yeah, just I remember mind. that. And right? they were chasing him. And they were chasing him. And then God did another great big old thing. And he, you know, parted the Red Sea, right? That was and they, awesome. Another big thing that they saw, yeah. right? And they were able to cross. And mm -hmm. that was it, right? And, they were and then they got over to the other side. And they're, they see, you know, the wilderness. They're, they're going through the desert, going to the promised land, right? They found they looking, their way, yeah. Right. I remember it. I remember. And even after seeing all that stuff. And they, they were still complaining while they were going through it. I don't I mean, complaining about what? Okay, food for number one. They were complaining about food, about being hungry. Like to the point where they were like, you remember we, we, was, we was eating in Egypt. Like mm -hmm. they, like for real, like they were complaining about the food. And God provided food for them. Did they have to pay for that food? No, God was like, here's pigeon and manna. Wow. For you, like, and they didn't appreciate that. No, they. Didn't. I mean, all I had was a little kids' meal, but they got manna and birds and all of that, and yes. they complained. Yes. Somebody, I done God, that. I wouldn't have done that. You was just com that's. You was just complaining. That. Somebody brought you. Okay. Somebody just brought you food. Okay. You didn't have to pay for it. He he brought them food. They didn't have to pay for it, and you complained. They was doing too much. He was like, "I'm providing for you every day." And Every they day? still was like, but, but let's just save up some of this manna because just in case. I thought case. you told them not to save it. He did tell them not to save it, but they did it anyway because they wasn't trusting. Even though they saw all these great things, they were still saving they it. And guess what God. happened? Bugs, maggots Ew. was in that because they were not supposed Ew. to do that. He said, I got you. Why didn't they just do what God told them to do? Why don't they? Man, they sound ungrateful I, and not content. Right? Keep I, going, bet they, I bet they had a stomachache. Do they have a stomach ache? They oh. ate too much? Well, I didn't eat enough. But hey, that's okay. I, I appreciate I just my meal. Flash, I just had a flashback of the doing donuts. too much. Yes, the, the donuts. donuts. Eating too much. See, you, you asking for more food. I'm telling you, <laughs> more and more. And you, it's not good. It's not good. That's true. Oh, okay, so back, true. so back at it. Okay. Right, they was complaining, complaining, complaining. Okay. So then like on the sixth day, six days? on the sixth six, day, six days. he was like, look, get extra. Like get a double amount, get like extra, because on the seventh day, then you won't have to gather it, and you'll still have enough. And it was already there on the it seventh day. It was already day. there on the hmm. seventh day, right? God is really doing he some things right. for these people. Really doing some things for these and people. And complaining. And complaining. Who does that? Who okay. just stand around complaining? Pause. <laughs> Boys and girls, do you see a similarity with the Israelites and complaining and about their food and Miss Tanisha complaining about eating it, and mm. her food? It was kind of different. It how was kind of different. different. See, how, how? Once. <laughs> right. Um, and then, so they so were, they were they, provided food. They didn't have to say, hey, this is how much money I have. Right. Can somebody run to the store and get. No. God provided for them. He was like, I got you. I got you. Mm. I got you food. Right? So for you, we had someone to bless us and say, you know what? We want to get breakfast for you guys. We're going to bring you guys breakfast so you don't have to come out of your pocket. We're going to bless you with food. And, and they, that's kind of like the food. manna. There you go, right? So they I eating, it. you eating, they start complaining, you complain that you want more. Look, you don't have bugs in your food. No bugs. Right? It was but good, too. I'm it just was saying. Good. You know what? And, 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 let me just, if you don't see there, let's go a step further, no. right? What else was she complaining about, boys and girls? Do you remember? Remember? She said, oh, there was no lemon in mm -hmm. it. Remember? The water. I'm kind of embarrassed now. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm just saying that we, oftentimes, we forget and we kind of miss out on what we have yeah. now, right? Because they, I mean, they was way mad, like at Moses, like we thirsty, like thanks for, thanks for the pigeons I and, and the get manna, it. but we thirsty, I've been there. Moses, and, and God was like, Moses, hit the rock, hit the rock, get them. Water out of a rock. Water from a rock? From a rock. I'm just saying, like big things. So they were able to drink some water. So God rained water out of a rock, manna, pigeons, mm -hmm. got them out of Egypt, and they were still complaining about food. Yes. So Com They were just complaining about a lot of things. So we have to just remember, God does a lot for us. Yes. And we miss out on things. Like, it was a blessing that someone decided to bring us breakfast, You're right. right? You're it was right. a blessing that someone was like, you know what, I know you have to be there early. We want to give you something. Like, just let's just You're be right. content. Thank you for breakfast. It was great. There, see? See? 
That's all I'm saying. We, but we I still can't kinda... wait till lunch. But I'm happy until that happens. <laughs> yeah? You're content. I'm working on it. Okay, that's, I'm hey, that's, that's all you have yeah. to do. You just have to work at it. But again, we don't wanna, we don't wanna miss out on what we have right yes. now, yeah. right? We don't, yeah. and you guys, you don't wanna miss out on what, we, what you have right now. Like, think about what the Lord has already given mm. you, right? Instead of thinking of, oh, I want more, I want more. Just what be, she has, what they have, what they right? Have. Like, don't even worry about that. Just be grateful, be content, and be, that sounds like a bottom line, doesn't it? Okay. That sound, kind of sounds like it like could be a bottom, bottom line. line. Yeah. Bottom, yeah. Like not bottom the top, line. not a bottom, not top. How's it go? Do you remember? Bottom line. Right? Is that what we got? Yes. Bottom line. There you go. Hey, bottom line. There you go. Hey, bottom line. There you go. It there is. you go. I like it. Don't miss out on what you have now. Yeah. Right? Right now, I have a full tummy. There you go. I do. I yes. do. Yes. See, I am see, so happy. That's what I'm talking about. Thank that's you, Miss Tina. About. This story was amazing. I love when the Bible can teach me about real life. Yes. It's pretty cool. It's so great. Yes. It's so great. You know what? Let's let's just pray and let's just Amen. hope that our friends think the yeah. same way. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, boys and girls. Thank you so much, Lord, for just these examples in the Bible of how we can do better. Help us to be more content and don't miss out on what you've already given us right now. Don't let us get more, want more and more and more and not be content, Father God. Just thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you've already done. We pray this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <sighs> that was that was good. Good, good job, job good Tina. Job, right? And thank you so much. You're welcome. You because know, that's why I don't want to be I'm complaining saying, if I don't have to. I'm just saying, you know. Be content, kids. Are you content? I'm content. I'm content. Let's be content. Right. All right. Good job. Thank good you. job. Bye, guys. Hi, my name is Eliana, and welcome to the Live It Up segment. Um, this month's Life Slap is contentment. Contentment is being grateful for what you have and um, not being um, like mad um, because of what you don't have. One way I've shown contentment is one time my, well, whenever my dad goes to the store, um, I'll ask him for something and if it's out, he'll just buy another brand for me. I wanted these Cheez-Its really bad and he said they were out so he bought a different brand. I was kind of mad because I wanted the original Cheez-Its. Then he sent me to school and I had them for snack. And that's when I realized that, wow, these are way better than the original Cheez-Its. And I was thankful for what I did, what I, I was thankful for those Cheez-Its instead of the original. And um, today's key question is, um, what's good about your life something that's good about my life right now is holidays i love celebrating thanksgiving and christmas with my family because i love having to be getting to be able to go see my family even though some people can't and i'm very thankful that i can go and see my family and have um dinner with them and um I'm very thankful for Christmas because I love to be able to be in, in, with my family around the Christmas tree and celebrating God and celebrating Jesus' birthday. Thank you for watching the Live It Up um, segment. Bye. Oh, oh man. That was such a great story. What did you think? I just, I just am just mind blown about everything that was going on because you know what? what? It really went with the bottom line. Like, don't miss out on what you have now. Oh my yeah. goodness, like I have so many things that I, I have now and if I am constantly wanting more and more and wanting something else, then I'm not gonna get to enjoy like the clothes that I have. I can't right, enjoy like shoes. my friends that I have yes. now. I can't enjoy all the little things. It's so yes. much fun. I'll just miss yes. out on all that. So boys and girls, Remember the bottom line, don't miss out on what you have right now. Oh, that was just so good, that was I so know. good. And look, you know they can talk about this more? Where? In virtual oh, small groups! Y'all know I like confetti, you ready? Virtual small groups! Pew!
Oh, confetti! It's still falling. On my, my lip gloss, okay. So, virtual small groups, moms and dads, get them yep. to sign you up so that you can enjoy having so much fun. You get friends. to, uh, all the friends. All the friends. You get to talk to people, you get to laugh, mm -hmm. you get to play games, you get to yep. learn about the Bible, you get to even talk about these videos and stuff. Oh, really? woo, woo, woo. The that bottom line, so every, everything is wonderful, everything. And it then, is. what else? What? What other perks do we have? What other things well, do we have for them, Ms. Kayla? We have online struggling. tutoring. Yes! So if you are struggling in anything in school, or maybe you just want to get ahead of the game and you want to learn. It's good to we, get ahead. It is. You know, maybe it is, you graduate it is. early. Who look? If you're in first grade, <laughs> you know, you'll be ready for second grade, and then maybe you could go all the way to 12th grade. You know, if you're super, super smart. You, all the stuff. You can go ahead and just be ahead of the game. Yes. And then even if you don't understand something, we have people that are here to help you yes. understand more. Because I sometimes, look, I told you all about that math. Ms. Caitlin yeah. said she wasn't wanting to use a calculator, and I still want to. But there are some people that know how to not use a calculator and find and those math problems out. Yes, yes. So you guys can sign up for that. We are mm -hmm. so excited. I, mean, I had a wonderful time. Me too. Did you guys have a great time? Yeah. Yes. Spirit fingers. Okay. So, boys and girls, look. Come back. See us again, all right? Don't forget. Let me get back on my bike. I got to go. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. I got to go, Miss Katie. Okay? I got to. You okay? Are you content? Oh, 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 o